Hello everyone, my name is Puneet. I am part of Informatica GCS Big Data Management Team. Today I will be talking about what is transient or uh, the ephemeral cluster and how to run the ephemeral cluster on Databricks. This is the agenda of today's presentation where we will get to know what is ephemeral cluster and the cluster workflow, cluster workflow components, how to create a cloud provisioning configuration to run the ephemeral cluster and how to create a cluster connection and to create a cluster task, the mapping task and to delete the cluster task and the demo. Before we begin, let's try to understand what is ephemeral cluster. The ephemeral cluster is a cloud platform cluster that you can create to run a mappings and the other task and then terminate when the tasks are complete. It is mainly used to save the cloud platform resources. You can run a workflow to create a cluster that runs the mapping and the other task on the cloud platform clusters. The cluster workflow uses the other element that enables the communication between the data integration service and the cloud platform such as the cloud provisioning configuration and the cluster connection. Create a cluster workflow to create the clusters to run on the AWS or the Microsoft Azure cloud platforms in the Hadoop environment. Also you can create a cluster workflow to create a Databricks cluster to run in the Databricks environment. On the Azure platform you can also create ephemeral HD inside cluster that accesses the ADLS Gen2 resources. On the AWS side, you can also create ephemeral AWS Amazon EMR cluster to access the S3, Redshift and the Snowflake resources. The following image shows the process how to create, configure and to run the cluster workflow but we will see this in detail in the demo. The cluster workflow development process requires the task from the following users. From the administrator side, it is must and should to create the cluster provision configuration and to create the cluster connection. From the developer end, create a workflow and the create a cluster task. Create a mapping task and other task as required and create a delete task if you want to delete the cluster and resources when processing is completed and deploy and run the workflow. Now we'll see the demo how to run the ephemeral cluster on the Databricks. This is my Informatica 10.4 admin console. Here you have to click on the connections and you have to click on the domain and right click on new connections. You will be having a multiple options where you have to go for the cloud provisioning and click on the Databricks cloud. Since uh, this uh, session will be more uh, ma mainly on how to run the ephemeral cluster on the Databricks, I am going to create a Databricks cloud provisioning. Similarly, you can click uh, create a AWS or the Azure cloud provisioning. So uh, now I'm creating a Databricks cloud provisioning connections. So I'll, I'll be going to give uh, this name as CCO provision. And this is asking for the Databricks domain and the token ID. This is my inf Azure Databricks workspace. If you are not knowing, uh, if you don't know how to create a cluster or Databricks cluster, if you are not knowing anything about what is Azure and what is the workspace, you can refer to my previous videos, which is uh, already mentioned in the reference link. So since uh, my workspace is up and running, uh, now I will be going to get the access ID by clicking on user settings and the generate a new token. You can just mention the name for the project and generate a token so which you have to copy it and paste it in the Databricks token ID. For the Databricks domain you have to go to the work from this is this from the workspace URL you can get the domain name this is uh, the domain name you have to copy it So now my connection has been created. Now once the cloud provisioning connection has been created, now it is time to create the cluster connections. To create a cluster connection, you have to click on the domain and the connections and you have to select the cluster followed by the database cluster. Click on OK and give a name for the cluster. You have to, spec you have to select the cloud provisioning configuration connection which is been created which has been created now so that is our CC work provisioning and if you want to place any staging directories it can be placed here 
then finish the connections so now we have uh, uh, ready to run the mapping on the fml cluster on the databricks by having the cloud provisioning connection and the cluster connections i have created a mapping uh, where i'm running on runtime as the databricks and the connection I have mentioned as a auto deploy if you wanted to run on the normal cluster uh, it can be browsed and given a connection of the databricks since uh, now i am running as a mfml cluster i am just uh, giving it as a auto deploy so now i am developing the workflow where i have uh, taken a create cluster task also the delete cluster task since my mapping is ready i am just taking the mapping as well so from the create cluster task have name have uh, selected the connection name the cloud provisioning connection name which was been already created uh, by clicking on browse and have to select the databricks or uh, the cloud provisioning uh, we have a list out like amazon emr hd insight azure databricks and aws uh, databricks since my uh, databricks cluster is hosted on azure so i am selecting azure databricks and the advanced you have an option to give the cluster name and the databricks runtime versions and the python version and the driver types all has to be all can be changed so i am naming my cluster name as ephemeral cluster pgn and i have selected the databricks cluster version as 5.4 so now i am creating a connections so i also have taken a delete cluster task which actually deletes the task once the which got created once the task got completed now my workflow is ready now let's save it and deploy the map uh, workflow so now i am running the ma workflow as a deployed mapping now if you look at the azure databricks workspace so so there is a new cluster which got created uh, the name itself it is saying that it is a ephemeral cluster pgn which we created now so which is now start which is now ready to start creating a configurations from the informatica admin console we can able to see the status now the create cluster task has been started so now the whatever we have created the ephemeral cluster has been started if you look at the uh, status it says like it is running now if you look into our work if you look into our uh, workflow status now the create cluster task has been completed now the mapping is running so now once the mapping got completed uh, we can see that that uh, the cluster which was created now it is getting terminated so now the the cluster has been removed uh, this is the use of having a delete cluster task so this is how the status looks like it has got created a task uh, cluster uh, where it got created an ephemeral cluster on the databricks then it run the mapping on the same cluster then it deleted the clusters so this is how you can actually configure and create and run the ephemeral cluster on the databricks and it is uh, very similar to the emr or the hd insight clusters so to know more about uh, how to create azure databricks uh, how to create a workspace and how to create a cco please refer to my youtube link and also if you want to know how about how to integrate the azure delta lake and run the mapping on the azure databricks please refer to my youtube channels we would like to hear from you please write us to support videos at informatica.com and please follow us on the twitter.com slash info support thank you